Ing Ing Jurder can come to truly understand any subject. She has become quite the purveyor of knowledge and has proven herself fully capable of structuring advanced theoretical and theological arguments. Wow. Three star education. Well done. Ing Jurder. <laughs> Ing Jurder. I feel like whenever I try to say most of these names, I just the word vomit and it's probably nowhere close, but that's okay. She's greedy, just, and arrogant, and a student intellectual, and a child of a concubine. Oh my. Okay. They grew up so fast. All right, this guy has been absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. He only had what five enemy. He had five enemy champions. Had eleven. Ale has four confirmed kills. Interesting. And you're not dead yet. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, prisoners can be ransomed. Twenty-five. And apparently the other one cannot. I don't know. Eighty-two percent. 82%. So, where do I go from here? Just like right over here? Sure. We'll go over there. Twelve. Cannot afford twenty-five. You, sir. You just would like to stay in prison forever, wouldn't you? He'll accept for those two, but I don't want those two. I really don't care. Um, he lost the war. Don't care. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm quite pleased you lost that war. Maybe you'll stop going to war all the time? I don't know. We'll see. High Chief is Freya. Freya. Sorry. Gained architectural expertise. Stewardship plus one. Excellent. Good job, wifey. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to win against King Alfred, dude. Okay, I've proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the chieftain of Trondheimer. All those missing is a bribe. I have plenty of money now. Perfect. Okay, you gain attentive care for five years. Perfect. So what can you do now? Oh, I'm already over here. Okay. I thought I was way over in uh, England again. Britain. Uh, fabricate claim. Just keep going up, buddy. Keep going up. Alright, they are... They don't have enough soldiers to siege that. <laughs> so they have to wait for these guys I guess but by the time they get there I'm going to be done and I'm going to be heading back over to you know do the do the choppy stuff some more I think this calls for a uh, little bit of vape and a little bit of a drink I'll mute myself so you don't have to listen to all that nonsense Very nice, very nice. And we are done. And on our way back. Sulvi, 
comes of age. With his coming of age, my tuition of Soli is at an end. Yeah, you're the sadist. Uh, all efforts have come to naught. Okay. Hardly studious, he at least managed to memorize certain choice quotes from the classics. He will probably never write any great theorems, but he might read one or two. <laughs> wow. That's pretty harsh, man. They grow up so fast. Okay. And, um, oh. Elizabeth can get married. Perfect. And... Okay, so this guy... We sway him as much as we're going to at the moment. So let's look around. Does anybody in particular hate us tremendously that we actually would care about if they hated us. Mm. Not really. Not really. A couple prisoners. Um, okay, you're not going to convert. You're already as a true. Uh, are you good at anything? Oh, you're the chieftain's... Uh, is your name Elizabeth? No, Sophia. You're this one. No, you're... Oh, you're his concubine. <laughs> well, if he wants to give me some money for you... And then we'll... Uh... You know, you're going to go to the dungeon, my friend. Yeah. You don't want to convert? You go to the dungeon. Just kind of hang out. Probably going to die there. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, we're coming up on this army here. 795 versus 1798. We've been fighting for a very long time. Up here. This should push us over the 100% mark though. As soon as this comes through, yep, we can enforce our demands. I gain the title. Chieftain of Mary. And that's going to max me out here. To the vile Jarl Ale. May your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Jarl Steerbjorn Magnuson of Prendelog. That place there. What is this? End of war. Yeah, I know that. Somebody can get married. Ah, uh, yes. Solvi can marry Alfred. Wait. Oh, they're already married. Oh, okay. You can us usurp the Yarldom of Trandalog. Oh. Okay. Then let's do that. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Disband the troops. The the shroops? No. No, no, no. Disband the troops. Okay, so now what does that mean? I us I usurped this Yarldom. So now I have the Yarldom of Drinkerson, which is all, oh, it's all of that. We also have the Yarldom of Trandalog, which is all of that. Hmm, okay. The Deserters. I am leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness at night, of night. Hooded cloaks obscure their faces, but by one's ungainly gait, I recognize Bjorgolf, my son-in-law. My lord, whispers one of my men. They are deserting. What should we do? Are you insane? You're married to Kraka. You fool. She may... 
Oh, she's not forgiving. I thought she was. <clears throat> Yeah, apprehend them immediately. Immediately. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, know that punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord... Bjorgolf meets my gaze with tired eyes. They're only children. We just want to go home. You know what? The price for betrayal must be paid. Execute them all. That's right. Deserters are due a single mercy, one granted by the executioner's blade. Being faced with the need to make harsh decisions has made me come to understand some of the burdens of command in a more intimate way. Finally, the whole ordeal is over. Okay. He had it coming, man. Now, that's about all that I want. Um, now, I do have dread. I am a kind of a dreadful dude, so let's go ahead and go down this way. Oh, Army Gold Maintenance minus 15%. Hopefully that would be Prestige Maintenance because I'm Tribal and I spend Prestige for that and not Gold. Yeah, let's go down that way. Serve the Crown. So this is really interesting. So I... Oh, Kraka can marry. That's right. Mm. Oh, another alliance. No, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's sort by inheritable traits. Ah, there we go. Orvar. Pretty good. He will do matrilineal. He's handsome. This one is hail. He's actually a little bit better overall. Nah, they're about the same, really. Okay. So he's got a four-star education. Flexible leader and handsome. Gregarious, zealous, paranoid. This guy, also, well, three-star, holy warrior, craven, okay, that made up my mind. No craven, please, thank you. And since it's a matrilineal marriage, he will join my court. And what that means is, um, he can be one of my champions, I believe. Uh... Hey, Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Uh, let's see, where's he at? Orvar. There you are. Oh, he has six. I thought he had better than that. Oh, he had 14 marshal and six prowess. Okay. Let's invite some champions. We have tons and tons and tons of, of stuff. So we can actually... Um, 
We can start looking around. So what do I actually hold? I hold this. No. I have that. And that. Mm. I've got Rogland. So I've got these three. And then this one. So I've I've skipped that <laughs> entirely. So those four. So I ideally I want to get those four making me as much money as I possibly can. Mm. So how are you doing? You've got your sparring grounds. What about you? You're building something there. Oh, that's not mine. And in Romsdal, they've got sparring grounds as well. But we can upgrade the tribal hall building. Hmm. Let's go with um, let's go with gathering halls. There. Here we can. Oh, I don't have enough money now. If I wait a month, <laughs> I'll have just enough. Yeah, I lost the war. Don't care. Was never bothered. Oh, champion has arrived. Oh, now I need gold. Okay. He's brave, wrathful, greedy. Misguided warrior, reaver, aspiring blade master, lunatic. But he is really, really good at chopping people in half. So, yeah. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard. Um, okay, Sophia's... Yeah, that's more like it. Give me 10 gold. It's more like it. How's this other guy doing? How's this other guy doing? Will you convert now? No. He wants freedom, but he's reluctant to convert. Yeah, well. Sorry about you. I've gone down there like five times. Hey, man. How's it going? You know, this uh, this acid truth thing, it's, it's not bad. Not as bad as you might think. Pretty nice, you know? You know, like four or five wives. 2,000 kids. It's fine. It's great. No problems. You know? So, uh... What do you say? You know? You come over to the, the this side. Come over to our side. And I'll let you out. You know? You walk right now. And he's like, nah... Not interested, man. I'd rather die in jail. Okay, well, you said it, not me. <laughs> All right, welcome aboard, Heesling. Heesling or Heesling, Heisling. Whatever your freaking name is. Oh, okay, here we go. A demonstration of leadership. My Chancellor, Chieftain Heralder has been hovering around my council meeting li meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. Is it my job to impress this guy? What's going on here? I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Okay, so we discuss methods of communication, 50 martial lifestyle experience, and he gets 20 opinion. He already likes me by 100, so 50 martial experience and respected figurehead for two years. Yeah, that's a no-brainer right there. We're going to do that. And okay. Controlled territory, defender advantage plus five, or increased control and county progress gained by 20%. 
I think a man's home is a good one because, you know, if we end up getting invaded here, which I don't think we're going to, we can, we can raise 4,000 troops at this point. I don't think anybody here can even touch us right now. No. What about Sweden? Yeah, Sweden could fight back. Sweden could fight us. But nobody else. No, uh, okay. Estonia could try to fight back. I think they would lose. Yeah. Lusatia. Oh my god. Look at East Francia. And we almost out... We do outnumber them. Wow. Okay. So another champion has arrived. Zvain. Stuttering. Inspiring. You don't need to... You don't need to talk too good to kill folk. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's not a great leader, but he is really, really good with the blade. Or the axe. So you, sir, can step right up and get yourself a, a helmet and an axe. And that looks good. So Sweden is the one I can't go for, but everybody else is pretty much, I mean, pretty much open, to be honest. All right, do we control one of the holy sites right now? We do. We do. So that's in... Uh... That's here in Prandheimer. No, I don't necessarily want this, these, his guys. I don't necessarily want his guys or him controlling this Yarldom. I want me to control this Yarldom. So, how do I do that? I mean, he, he says he has the Yarldom of Hagelin. But it says I do as well. No, no. Hmm. Well, that's this. So I still need to oust this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I still need to oust him. Pretty sure I can do that. I'm like right now. Yeah, he has 600 people. Um, conquered Duchy. Yeah. 125. Even with their allies, they are inferior to me. So we're gonna put another rally point up in this general area and raise all here. It can't be all of them. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. That's much better. I just paused. <laughs> the music is so amazing. So, so good. When we get over here, we're going to merge armies, make sure I'm the leader. We're just going to take him down. We're just going to start moving in. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make all my allies come and help me. Hello, Chieftain Ucko. Get over here. And hello, 
Garl Heralder. Get in here. And hello. I have a lot of allies. What the hell? Chieftain Frederick. Three ought to be enough. I am satisfied with that. Yes. Perfect. Call on my ally. What do you have? 581? Sure. Oh yeah, low county control. I need to get this guy on this immediately. The marshal, who is amazing, by the way. So hopefully these guys, the allies, kind of protect my area. That would be ideal. And then I can focus on just conquering all their stuff here. My skilled chancellor. My chancellor chieftain Heralder has proven himself highly capable, especially in martial matters. He says, There are some projects I would like to undertake in the chieftain of Froda Filki, my liege, with your blessing, of course. Martial prowess? Ha! I'll make these modifications myself. Mm, take the reins. He loves me. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it myself, get some prestige. That's fine. Okay. I like how I haven't even fabricated the claim down here yet, and or up here, and <laughs> I'm already attacking them. Oh, they're just going in. I like it. Right, these guys are coming here somewhere. Where are they going? Where are you going? Okay, we're going into the fog of war. They are now gone. All right. <laughs> they just sailed all the way around the continent. Okay, see it done. Sure. Can I just go over? Oh no, I'll take attrition. Because we have to control this first. Okay. Okay, fabricate claim on county is done. Upland looks delicious. So let's start looking at some of those. Start looking at that, perhaps. Yeah. Sounds good. We're coming up on the hour and a half mark once again. And that's kind of how I've been timing these out. Chop it up into three episodes for the YouTubes. So I wanted to drop a little bit here as well because I wanted, I had an idea. Okay. Because typically in, in games where. I can have like a ruler or a leader type character and kind of manage stuff. It's been kind of a runny joke. Oh, I took him hostage. That ends the war immediately. Excellent. Um, we'll pause it here. We'll just kind of stay here for a second. But um, kind of the runny joke is I would name... I would make a female character and name, name her Mega Karen. <laughs> so, um, so basically, yeah, we're going to do that as well. High tribal authority. We want to get to absolute tribal authority so we can do 
a succession change to high partition. And we can't do it now because we, we, we have limitations on our crown authority. We need level four. So, I don't know what's stopping us from doing that, but sure. Anyway, so I had an idea on Crusader Kings 3 to do something similar and have sort of a, uh, a, a female run society, you know, sort of like in the, the, the ancient Amazonian legends, right? Where of a culture of female dominated areas and name the first leader to rise up, make a Karen. <laughs> and I was actually thinking not to be, <laughs> this might be a little bit uh, on the excessive side, but I was thinking about having her be Irish. Because those Irish women are feisty, let me tell you. Um, I can imagine a fiery red-headed Irish woman rising up in some territory, some obscure place out on the plains of Ireland and just taking over. Just going absolutely crazy, taking over everything. I think that would be kind of neat. But unfortunately, in Crusader Kings 3, there's really no way to start off with, um, with that sort of society. You have to spend a very, very long amount of time playing the game before, like we said here, we can do um, level 4, the absolute crown authority, so that we can change our succession. And, and we want to make gender law female preference. You know, we want female preference or female only. But we can't do that. Asatru, our religion, does not have the female dominated doctrine. And even that, same thing. And we don't have high crown authority as well. So. These two things are a problem, and this one here, we want high partition because that means that the lion's share, which is a vague term, I understand, the lion's share titles will go to your player heir. And in in the Mega Karen society, that would be her firstborn daughter, if I could get that those two things switched around. But luckily, with the use of black magic witchcraft. I have succeeded in tweaking the game to the point where I can, in fact, start fresh day one of a playthrough and change those things around so that we can have the Mega Karen of Legend. So that is on the docket as well. I'm going to continue with this series. This is a on-stream recording then I'm just chopping up, no editing going on, just chopping it up, throwing it up on YouTube as the as Ale Drinkerson series, the Viking playthrough. Uh, the Mega Karen is going to be, I think, just offline, doing recordings, recording episodes, editing to uh, get rid of the downtime sort of things, and focusing on the interesting bits. But I think that's going to be fun. So. If you're interested in that, go on over to, you know, youtube.com forward slash Lothans TV. That's where that series is going to be. And this series as well. If you're watching on the stream live over at twitch.tv forward slash Lothans. That is where this series is going to be. So if you missed any bits of it or if you want to see more. Go ahead and head over to the YouTube channel as well. That's where all this stuff is going to be posted up for posterity. And I want to thank you so very much for spending your valuable free time here on the channel, whether it be live or, again, on the YouTube. Either way, if you liked what you saw, 
please drop a like. Explain to me what you liked so I can continue to try to do more of that. And if you didn't like it, you're free to drop a thumbs down. But please, if you do that, let me know, especially so that I can improve and try to stay away from whatever you didn't like. Right. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.